Hey guys, and welcome to another video. I wanted to talk to you guys about the power of confidence. How well does confidence support everything that you're doing? Why do you need to be confident? Why is it important for you to be confident? Check this out, guys. I've got three points to cover to make sure that you're on top of your game and feeling confident as ever. Check this out. Apple store is always packed. So like I mentioned in the last vlog, guys, uh, I had gotten some kind of computer virus and wasn't successful at, wasn't successful at removing the virus. So uh, I am gonna buy another MacBook, which I'm excited about. New MacBook, <clears throat> check. Awesome. Mm. Some damn good gum. You know damn well, if I'm leaving town, I'm gonna go get a haircut. So that's where I'm headed right now, get a haircut. I know it's only the second one this week. Maybe a little obsessive. Stay sharp. So I just got to the airport and uh, started stopping to grab some breakfast real quick. I stopped at this place called Taco Deli. Hear a lot of people talking about it, checking it out. Actually, these uh, tacos are pretty amazing. Um, but a lot of the places here in Austin Airport are all local restaurants and um, you know, no big franchises or anything. So they're all really uh, kind of a homey kind of place. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'll be landing in New York uh, a little after five and uh, we'll see what all this place is about. Looking forward to trying to get some good content when I'm up there. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm here on the... Uh, Fifth floor at my buddy's place. Um, yeah, this really cool looking David Bowie mural on the wall. I thought it'd be kind of cool to get a drone shot of it. That was really awesome. I just took the drone out and was able to shoot this mural behind me. Really just gonna grasp for how massive this thing is. But anyway, it's really beautiful here. Uh, I think I'm getting pretty good at driving this drone, so hopefully get you guys some good footage. Well, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about, and I just brought this up because uh, one of my buddies was talking about, you know, him having a coach other than myself. And the thing is, is that we all should have a coach or somebody that holds us accountable for the things that we really desire achieving. You know, like this week, you know, uh, you know, I talked to my boy Brian, Brian Johnson. I was like, man, hey, I really need you to hold me accountable on doing my journaling, my book work. So it's great having someone, you know, text message you, hey, did you get your book work done? Just like I do with my clients as well. But at the same time, it's having, it's, it's holding that person accountable and having a coach, someone coaching you through. You know, maybe your coach is not offering you advice. Maybe, maybe it is just an accountability system. Maybe it's just uh, your significant other, whoever it is, you know. Let them know what you're trying to accomplish and that you need some help trying to, to stay sharp and you'd like for their input and their uh, assistance in keeping you on point. Let people know what you're doing. I guarantee it make you more successful. So uh, now I'm just gonna head back up to uh, uh, my client's office and uh, man, this guy's got a, an amazing gym at his, uh, at his office. So if more corporations would treat their employees like this, whoo, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be amazing for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna check this guy's, this guy's gym out. It's awesome. Watch this. You know that drill I'm doing, like when you're here and you're like working on like a motivation folder where I can put your things and motivate me? Two, three, two. Go do it. One, two. What's his first move to do? Move back. Look how he moves back. Where's my foot? Yeah. Now I'll scoop the foot to my left. All right, guys. So I just got back from New York. I'm back home and pretty bummed out. I just realized <clears throat> that after uploading all my videos, as you can probably tell, I had the setting, the shutter speed. I guess I'd bumped the camera or something while I was gone, not realizing another rookie move. 
but um, so you can tell the footage is really shaky and um, so don't shoot with your shutter speed too low I guess um, makes it look pretty funky but anyway with that I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about my second point um, and basically the power of confidence is going to be to challenge yourself now a lot of times people get very comfortable uh, in their everyday movement, things that they're doing, they almost get stuck in a routine to where like, you know, you get up in the morning, you go to work, you get off, you come home, and you're doing the same routine all the time. And when you're not doing anything to really challenge yourself or step outside that comfort zone, you never give yourself an opportunity to really grow or build confidence. So confidence comes from your your countless efforts of, of, over, of, of, um, of overcoming certain obstacles and challenges. And the more you do that, the better you get at it, the more confident you're gonna feel with yourself. So it's important that you step outside your comfort zone and try doing something that you wouldn't normally do. And um, you never know, you might be a lot more confident just by trying out this one thing. Anyway, uh, definitely be sure to continue to challenge yourself though, guys, very important. Hey guys, the third point I wanna make about the power of confidence is watching your inner monologue. That's right, the things that you're saying to yourself in your head and those thoughts that continue to circulate in your head, they may not be so empowering. So a lot of times we have what I call stinking thinking where we actually go around thinking uh, thoughts that are not our, choose our, our highest energy, right? So maybe something that would make us feel bad about ourselves. Maybe we don't feel like that we're good enough. We don't feel like that we look good. Maybe we feel like we're fat or we don't have enough money or whatever it is that we keep telling ourselves that keeps us in that place of lack, a place of, of not having, right? And those ultimately creates a lot of uh, self-conscious feelings and like that kind of stuff that keeps you from feeling confident. So very important to work on saying affirmations. You can say affirmations, tell yourself that you love yourself, tell yourself that you're beautiful. Um, simple things like that go a long ways because it's things like that that we're not doing on a regular basis. So these things definitely help you get sharp and feel confident about yourself so you can go in and master whatever you're trying to do. Guys, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also go ahead and like the video, uh, follow too, and hit that notifications button too. I drop a video every Monday with an exception of this week. However, I had some complications with uploading videos and realizing that they, like I said, were messed up a little bit. But listen, I wanted to make sure I, wanted to make sure I got the content up to you guys and uh, I'm gonna try my best next week to really, really hone in and get you guys some quality content and be aware when I'm videoing so I may not hit that shutter button and mess up the footage. But anyway, guys, love you, have a good one, and we'll see you on the next video.